It's gonna change. No, it would blow it. And uh, I don't wanna do that. I don't know what this truck is gonna back up. Oh, he like almost jackknifed himself. And that, folks, is why I always be ready. So it's stopped, no problem. Now it's green, I've confirmed. Yeah, I freaked out. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back, Tesla channel. Ah, wow. You wanna know a life hack? Let me show you. The life hack is being in a park, having your car update and upgrade. And here we go. All right, so here we are with the update and the release notes. All right, so I've enabled it and now let's just stop talking and let's start driving. So we're just gonna stay on the side street so I kind of have an idea of it. Stopping for traffic control in 100 meters, it said. Stopping in 50 meters, 25. Look at that down on the bottom. Now that is cool. And you just push it down and away we go. <laughs> That's, I'm pretty excited about that one. So this is showing as a 50, but it's straight. And look at that. I can actually go faster than uh, I was. I thought it wouldn't allow me to go past the, the speed. Oh wait, that's if the if the Tesla is controlling the car itself. That's what it is. All right, this is a new stop sign up ahead. Okay, so it recognized it. This is a brand new, like maybe a week or so old. Okay, so I can't go past the max, which is fine. Listen, if the car is going to do the driving, I'm okay with it doing what it should by the rules. So we're at a red light. It is red. I am trying to confirm on the stock that I want to go and it's not so now let me push the pedal the accelerator sorry and it it goes as long as I push it as soon as I let go it stops now I pushed it as soon as it turned green and the car is going that is cool another thing that I'm noticing is the stop lights when it turns green when it's they're a lot more brighter with like a halo around it. Same when it turned green. That's how I noticed it at first, where it did not show that before. It was just that little red or green or amber. So even with the sun in front of us, blazing. But again, in these side streets, you're not really gonna be using it. At least I would think not. So I'm just doing this for testing so I get a feel for it before I get out to the main roads. So it's showing three here. There's only two. I don't know where it's catching this third one. There's nothing here in front of me. Traffic control feature may be degraded because of the sun. It even said degraded because of the visibility. All right, so I'm clearly in the sun. I want to see what happens again. Camera's being blinded. Autopilot unable to proceed. Please take over. That was weird. I just pushed the stock down and it went all right this one we go around the corner here and then the stoplight is right in the front oh it's already reading it yeah but it can't see so it's all black dots when it does not know what the sign is so now still has not read it now it's read it we know the car takes the exit that's nothing new and sometimes it did stop at the lights when it would come off the highway and there so I'm confirming, even though I want to go right, I'm allowed to. Oh, it really wants to stop me. So even though I'm pushing the accelerator, I don't know if you can hear that, it's jerking back on me. So I'm going to shut it off and go. But again, just testing. It's all in beta. That's why I'm doing the testing. So everyone knows what to, to expect. And if you feel you want it on or not. All right, let's see if there's been uh, some advancement in the cones. So this one never pushed me over, but the other one does. And this one's not going to either. It's just going to go. Ah! Confirming to go. Hands ready at the wheel. See, it starts pushing over. Look at that. Also, what I noticed in the new update, uh, we're heading to a supercharger and the preconditioning battery for supercharger it's uh, here now it used to be green and lower 
it's more subtle, but it's there. So look at the road. There's no lane markers. Now look here. Turn right onto Kennedy Road 4. Look at that. It actually held, it's holding me in the lane, but it's a dirt road. Okay, not every time. Look at the corrective steering that it did. But again, there's no lane markers here. Look at the road. On the right. See? See the pylon? Mm -hmm. And look over there, show. The pylon has fell, fell down. It's like a jumping. Showing it down. There, right there. Uh-oh. Stopping for traffic. See the stop sign? Back of the truck is a stop sign. So any intersection that you need to turn left or right, it just doesn't make sense to have this on if you know that you're going to be making a lot of turns. If you're just going from one end of the city to the other and you're just going straight, it's fine to have this on because you know, it'll catch a light before you would, um, you know, it's a little bit better. Or, you know, your eyes plus uh, the cameras, it's a little added extra bonus feature uh, if you want to look at it that way. Some people are just taking chances. For me personally, uh, I will be keeping the data because I know that the data does go back to Tesla. So that will help. And I obviously want to help you know make full self-driving or whatever it is going to be come along faster when i confirm sometimes it, it you know it sees the light i confirm and then it kind of loses sight of the light and then i have to confirm again and some lights have actually two or three times depending on the situation which is kind of like you feel you've done it and then you've kind of relaxed a bit and the car starts slowing down you're like why is it slowing down am, am i going to hit someone is it you know seeing something i don't and it's like, oh, I need to confirm again. Some quirks, uh, it's not perfect, of course. And again, the only real full self-driving feature we really, really have is the summon. Summon to you in the parking lot. And that, that's the only time the car drives 100% itself with nobody else in the car. All these other situations, just like navigate on autopilot, we still have to, you know, hold the wheel, um, and it's going to change the lane. So on the highway, it's pretty good. Um, but of course, city driving, it's not there because it's not in the feature yet. But overall, it definitely is a cool feature. There are people that out there that are complaining you can't go over the speed limit. Um, again, it, then, you know, that's only when the car is doing the steering, then you can't go over so you got to look at it as it, it's an extra precaution that tesla is taking with it uh, i i don't honestly i don't know i'm not the tesla tech to understand all that but that is my feelings behind it the fact that we have to confirm each and every time is also a precaution that tesla is taking to make sure we are paying attention i mean imagine the fact people are already trying to sue tesla over other things because autopilot crashed into the truck because i didn't hit the brake in time and the the, the the Tesla should have seen that that truck was flipped over and everything. But we can't be blaming the tech on stuff that we're supposed to be paying attention on. Um, another thing too is I'm just wondering, you know, the gear stock. So I bought my models of 2018 and I had the issue uh, up top on the gear stock where it was popping off. They, they fixed it, replaced it, and it's doing it again. Um, and you know, I didn't care. I didn't try to make a claim again for them to change. I'm just living with it. But I know a lot of people had this problem too before. So by us keep using it so much, is there going to be wear and tear in the gear here? I know you can use the pedal, but for me, this is more natural. So yield signs show up as a controlled stop. And you have to confirm with the stock. The roundabouts, that's pretty cool. I'll post a picture uh, here. Obviously, it still can't take the roundabouts, but the fact that it pops up knowing it's there. Uh, about junction roads, when it's you're coming up to a T area, I'll post a picture of that here. 
But look at this, I haven't even turned the corner yet. And it already knows that there is a light up ahead. I believe it was around 200 meters that it starts to notice the uh, lights. So like I was saying, overall, I like the, can't wait to see the improvements of it. Where the stop, that stop sign there, that's what it's reading. So somebody knocked that stop sign and now the car thinks it's an actual stop here. Overall, the update for autopilot has been better. Some places has been worse and other places have been terrible. But the overall upgrade update is better. And since the update, I've already put on uh, almost 3,000 kilometers.